Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in this After Effects tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to use mats in After Effects to apply effects to only certain areas or certain objects of your shot. So yeah we've got some poker chips, a green one, a red one and a blue one as you can see and uh, we're going to create some mats to apply effects to one of these chips. So first of all I'm going to duplicate my footage so just click on your layer and press command D to duplicate that shot. And um, then I'm going to rename this top one to mat. Um, so we know that's going to be our mat. And then we're going to right click on that one, go to effect and go to keying. And then we're going to add the key light 1.2 effect. All right, so let's say we want to add an effect to our red poker chip. So I'm going to click on my um, color picker next to screen color and we're going to select red. And then I'm going to change my view from final result to combined mat. And this will basically show us the mat that we are creating. So we want to invert this mat so that the chip uh, or that the red is white and everything else should be black. So you can go and um, add another effect under channel and click on invert that will invert it. But there is a way to do it actually within the key light effect. So if you expand your screen mat and um, you set your clip black to 100 and you do this or you do the inverse for the clip white so I'm going to set that to zero that should be um, it will give you the same results so now we just need to fine tune it a bit as you can see it's not perfect we've got some uh, white here in the black and if you zoom in or if you look closely at the white there's some uh, black or darker blotches there as well and we want to try and get a perfect map before we actually apply an effect so what you can do is you can play with your screen balance to see if that will give you a better result uh, you can also change uh, the clip black and the clip white settings. So I'm going to bring the clip black down slightly and maybe bring the clip white up a little bit so we get a better result there. And as you can see, we get some spill here around the other areas of our clip. An easy way to get rid of that is just to draw a mask around the area that we want to focus on. So with that uh, layer selected, I'm going to just select the rectangle mask and I'm just going to draw a quick mask around that chip and I'm going to expand that mask um, and enable animation on the mask path and then we're just going to create a few keyframes for that mask to just follow the uh, red poker chip. So let's just add a few keyframes here. I'm just going to go through this quickly. Okay, so our mask is uh, following our shape around or our object and I just want to fine tune the mat a little bit. You can see some white um, blotches here in the dark areas as well. So I'm just going to try and fix that quickly. I'm just going to try and adjust these. That looks pretty good. Um, all right, so now we're ready to start adding some effects. So I'm going to add a new layer, right click new and adjustment layer. And I'm going to place that right below our mat. And then we're going to change the track mat of that adjustment layer to Luma Matte and then the name of that layer which is called Matte. And that's basically going to use the brightness of the layer above it to apply um, an effect to. So now on this adjustment layer you can add your effect. So let's say we want to add a glow. So we're going to go to Stylize and Glow and there you can see it's only affecting that red chip which is pretty cool. So let's delete our glow and let's say you want to tint that. So I'm going to right click, go to Color Correction, Tint and it's only going to make that red, um, it's only going to apply the tint effect to the red again. So you can see this is a lot easier than actually going in and rotoing that object or that shape and try and match that roto and adding keyframes in order to, to apply an effect, just use a matte. Another thing that we can do really easily is to change the color of this red chip and um, just right click, go to color correction and go to use saturation and then click on this colorize and then basically you can just use this colorize hue to change the color so let's say we want to make it um, like a purple you can change the saturation below that and you can also change the lightness of that let's say something like that looks pretty cool and now we've got a purple chip that's actually red and that's basically how easy it is to use mats in after effects to affect only certain objects or certain areas of your video I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And if you want to, click on that subscribe button. I release new visual effects tutorials once a week. And again, thanks for watching.